everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Anna and this channel is about everything that inspires me travel shopping beauty and so much more and the topic of today's video is going to be the most popular topic on my channel and that is outlets today I want to speak about outlets in Italy I want to discuss and compare them and I want to try to choose the best outlet in my opinion the one that would appeal to the most people so the four best and biggest outlets in Italy are the Mall Florence outlet, the Mall San Remo outlet, Sierra Valle Milan outlet and Noventa di Piave Venice outlet. But before we get deep into discussing these outlets, I wanted to say that on my channel I have lots of videos about outlets and I've spoken about other European outlets like the one in Paris and in uh, Spain and in England. I've compared those outlets as well. I filmed videos inside of the outlets, inside of the shops. I also made a video telling you everything in detail about prices in the outlets, going brand by brand, telling you what kind of discount you can expect from luxury brands in the outlets so you can find all of those videos on my channel in the playlist outlets i will leave all of the links in the description below so let's have another sip of our drinks i am drinking orange juice today and i invite you to get yourself a refreshing or maybe a heartwarming drink as well and let's start the video so before i start discussing italian outlets one by one i wanted to answer some of the most common questions that i generally get about outlets and these are how do I get to the outlets? How big are the outlets? What are they about? How are they like? How much time do I need to spend there? And outlets are generally big. They are generally out of the city and you need quite some time to get there. I imagine that a taxi to get to the outlet is going to be quite expensive. So it's always better to get there by a shuttle bus or rent a car. We usually drove to the outlets with our own car, but we used a shuttle bus once in Barcelona and that was a nice comfortable experience. You can always find all of the information about shuttle buses and all of the other ways of getting to the outlets on the outlets websites it's very easy to buy tickets there to find the timetables get all of those information on outlets websites i will leave the links to the outlets websites in the description below as well and as most of the outlets are really big and out of the city there is just one exception and we'll get to that a little bit later you really need a lot of time to go through the outlets to look through all of the brands and all of the pieces that you are interested in that's why I usually recommend spending one full day in the outlet and in my opinion half a day or just a few hours in the outlet will not be enough and I feel like it will be a waste of your time and money you spend to get there the other very common question is are outlets only for people who are into luxury or are they also interesting for people who are into premium brands and mass market brands and the answer is outlets are really for everyone but you will find the best deals in luxury brands you will probably rarely find a 50 60 percent discount in premium and mass market brands because things from these brands they they are not as expensive you are not able to make that big of a discount and on luxury things you can actually make such a big discount unfortunately that is the pricing of luxury items when you have a new collection it is so so much more expensive than when it becomes last year's collection and you can have this thing 50% or sometimes 60% off once I start discussing the outlets I will tell you the example of the things that I bought there both from 
luxury and mass market brands and I will tell you what kind of a discount I got. Generally I would say that people who are there to buy luxury things will benefit more from the outlets than people who are there to buy mass market and premium but I would say that being in the outlet is, is a really pleasant experience. Uh, they are usually really nice and you have nice dining experiences there usually so I recommend outlets to everyone. So let's start with the first outlet. This doesn't mean that this one is the worst. I'm just going to talk about it first. And this one is the Mall Florence outlet. This outlet is situated I would say one hour away from Florence, maybe even less. We drove with our own car there. The road was really smooth, nothing complicated. It's really not possible to get lost out there. And the mall outlet in Florence, I would say is the biggest luxury outlet that you can find in Italy. This outlet has the most luxury brands and it is actually focused on luxury brands. So if you are looking uh, for things from like Gucci, Bottega Veneta, Prada, Montclair, Jimmy Choo, Balenciaga, Tom Ford, Givenchy, Chloe and others, this is a place for you. But also the Mall Florence outlet has premium brands like Tory Burch and Michael Kors and also it has mass market brands like Nike. This is not the main focus of this outlet but you can still find those brands out there. What would be important to mention about this outlet is that um, it's very interesting that some brands are not a part of this outlet but they kind of stand next to it and you don't even notice that you have exited the outlet you're just like walking on the street it's like big road and you have big buildings with brands written on it and if you uh, look on the website of uh, the Mall Florence outlet, you will not see all of these brands on the website because they are officially not a part of the outlet. Because some brands in this outlet, they are kind of are in the same building, which just has different entrances to the brand's shops. But some brands, they stand as separate buildings. Like you will have a separate building of Prada, very big one, a separate building of Montclair, huge one. There is a big Hugo Boss, a big Nike, a big, uh, it was Gucci, I think. So, and I think these brands are not listed as a part of Limo Florence, but they are just across the street and the whole thing feels like feels like one big um, mall, outdoor mall. And in order for you to understand what uh, all of the brands there are, uh, the, for me the best way was to go on Google Maps and on Google Maps you will be able to see all of the brands shops out there uh, because as I said on the mall website you will not see all of the brands that are actually there. I think that my favorite brands uh, in outlets generally are Burberry and Gucci and uh, that day when I was in the mall uh, Florence outlet I didn't really find anything to my taste in Burberry and Gucci that's why I didn't buy anything out there. We went to Todd's and I would say that this Todd's shop in the outlet was the biggest that I have seen and it has the widest selection of their Todd's shoes uh, out there in all of the colors, all of the sizes were there but you didn't have a really big discount for Todd's uh, loafers, Todd's moccasins. I think the discounts uh, were about 20 30% max because generally uh, Todd's uh, shoes are not expensive as Laura Piana for example that's why they, they don't make a huge discount but uh, you you can find something with 20% discount which is lovely as well that's what I got for myself also we went to Tory Burch out there I got there for myself really cute summer slides which had about 20 or 30 uh, percent uh, discount and that that was lovely also we went to Nike and the discounts in Nike were quite crazy uh, of course if you have something really specific in mind you will not be able to find this exact model of uh, trainers or like sportswear in the outlet. You can just come and find random sports things out there. And we found a really basic, nice pair of trainers for my husband from Nike and that pair of trainers was 27 euro. And he wears them to the gym for one year already. And I feel like they are not going to be destroyed like ever. They are really nice uh, trainers for the gym and 
I think that was about a 70% discount for that pair of trainers, which was really nice. So if you are looking for something that you need for sports, a Nike in the mall, Florence outlet, it's, it's a really good place for you. It's important to say that although all of these shops in the mall Florence look really big, I think the selection of the items is pretty much the same as in other outlets. It's just they are spread more nicely, they have more space out there than for example in Noventa di Piave or uh, Sierra Valle. So you will not have really the bigger selection of goods uh, of this in the same brand shops uh, in different outlets, but I think you will have more luxury brands in the Mall Florence. And I think now we should move to the Mall San Remo outlet. And the Mall San Remo outlet is exclusively luxury brands outlet. You will not find premium or mass market brands there. This is only for like luxury expensive piece, pieces. And San Remo outlet is uh, the one that is not that big and the one that is really feels like it's in the center of the city, not exactly in the center, but you really don't need to drive far from San Remo to get to this outlet. And it's very, very easy to get to this outlet if you are on the French Riviera. That's what we did each time that we were on the French Riviera. We drove to San Remo outlet and I think it took us um, about a little bit more than a one hour. The thing about this mall is that it's not really big and it's not really popular so most of the time that we went there there were almost no people there and it was such a nice experience. Every time we go there, we go there in summer and even in summer there are not a lot of people there. That, that is so nice walking through the shops, shopping when you don't have the crowds because in other outlets you will unfortunately have the crowds, especially uh, in the Sierra Valle in Noventa di Piave. It's possible that you will have to wait in lines to get into the shops. In uh, San Remo this never happens. And so in San Remo you can find only luxury brands such as uh, YSL, Gucci, Hermene Hilto Zegna, Loro Piana, Burberry and others. I personally really love this outlet. I feel like when it's really calm and empty it's really easy to find the pieces that you are looking for and I actually found really great deals there. So some of the things that we managed to find in this outlet were Bottega Veneta sunglasses, got amazing pair of sunglasses there with about a 60% discount I think. Then also I loved Gucci, in Gucci there we got some scarves with about 50% or even 60% discount as well. Also we got uh, lots of things in Hermene Hilto Zegna for my husband, the shop of Hermene Hilto Zegna in San Ramo outlet is really nice. You know, a few years ago, uh, I would say no more than a few years ago, about five years ago, they used to have crazy discounts there. They had like 60% discounts there, which was amazing. You could find a pair of leather boots for autumn uh, for 300 euro there. But now the discounts are not as big. I think the discounts are about 30% there, but the, the deals are still good. We love shopping for uh, shoes, for boots there and also for some knitwear things like that. The Burberry shop in San Remo outlet is good as well. The best deals that we managed to find there were in August when they kind of make their discounts bigger and we got like a big tote bag out there for 600 and something euro. Uh, we also got men's polo t-shirts there for 90 euros and, uh, and overall they had really good selection of goods there and good discounts although the shop is not very big but it actually Actually has a good selection of pieces and I think that was it that I wanted to mention about San Remo. I just wanted to say that if you're on the French Riviera I think that you should really uh, go to this outlet and you don't need a whole day for this outlet as you will spend about an hour to driving there but as the outlet is quite small you don't need a lot of time to walk through all of the shops so I think half a day should be fine and then the other half of the day you can spend at the beach sunbathing and eating delicious seafood. So let's get into the next outlet and the next outlet is Noventa di Piave in Venice. This outlet is really big, it is bigger than the mall outlets, it has lots of luxury brands as well as premium and mass market brands. It is situated quite far from Venice, you definitely need a car or a shuttle bus to drive there and you need a lot of time to walk through the whole outlet. 
I managed to find really, really great deals there, both in luxury and in mass market brands. So the first thing that uh, is in my head when I remember Noventa Di Piave outlet is beautiful, classy Gucci sandals that I got there with a 60% discount. It was crazy. I got these sandals for 300 euro and they were in like a really basic uh, neutral color, beige color, which fits all of my outfits in summer and I'm super happy. They are also very comfortable and that was a great deal. Also, I really liked the deals in Sancho and Marge. I love those premium brands for clothing. Uh, the deals were about 30% off, but they had a really good selection of goods, you know, not really old collection, but the collection just from last season was there and that was nice they had my size which is a size one in Sandra and Marsh in everything that I wanted which was lovely also I loved New Balance shop in uh, Noventa di Piave I got their classy New Balance sneakers for 35 euro which is 60% discount I think it, it was crazy I wear them still and I'm going to take them with me on my trip to Canada and wear them everywhere because and New Balance sneakers are just so, so comfortable. If you've ever owned a pair of New Balance sneakers, you understand what I mean. Also, Noventa di Piave in Venice has a really nice Bottega Veneta shop. I got my wallet out there, a little card holder because I don't like big wallets. And I love that they had all of the different colors of Bottega Veneta wallets out there. You could choose literally like whatever color you can imagine i chose a blue one like like my shirt today and uh the discount for the wallet was i think about 50 percent i bought uh the wallet ah no it was more than 50 percent because i got the wallet for about 115 or 20 euro like really not expensive for a beautiful leather card holder like this and uh then let's move to sierra valle outlet mall and I have to say that I think that Sierra Valle Outlet Mall, in my opinion, is the best outlet mall in Italy because it has things for everyone. It is really huge. It has, I would say, the biggest amount of brands. It has so many luxury and mass market and premium brands. I feel like the selection of goods inside of the brand shops is, is really, really nice. They always have good discounts. They have really delicious food out there. The Italian food in the restaurant in Sierra Valle is, is so good. Like we, we came to Sierra Valle once just to eat the pasta and go. It, it was that delicious. And that's why also when I made a comparison of all of the malls in Europe, I said that Sierra Valle, in my opinion, was the best. And of course, if we speak about the outlets in Italy, Sierra Valle will still be the best outlet, in my opinion. But I think everyone still has his favorite brands. And when you choose an outlet, you have to choose an outlet which has your favorite brands. And uh, in order to find the outlet which suits you best, you have to go through all of the outlets' uh, websites and just find the brands that you love in these outlets. Because maybe the brands that you love are in the mall in Florence but are not there in Sierra Valle. You have to check this. But generally, if you are looking for the first, your first ever outlet experience, you don't know what you like yet, you're ready to look at luxury and premium, but you can also buy something from mass market as well, I think you should go to Sierra Valle. There you will find things for all of the occasion, you know, for casual occasions or for some maybe a little bit special occasions. And the brands uh, that I bought there from were Gucci. I love the Gucci shop there. I got their Gucci, my Gucci boots, which are uh, like my favorite boots that I wore every day during uh, two, three autumns in a row already. And I am already thinking that maybe I should buy another pair because they are just that good. I uh, The discount was about 50-60% and uh, the price for those boots was I think 350 euro they also had a knee-high version of those boots which was about 450 euro i think my husband got a great pair of moccasins there which had a 50 percent discount as well also burberry shop in sierra valle is really big and really good i got there an autumn wool coat which has uh, this shape i think it's called um, 
I don't know what's, what's the name of this shape of the coat, really, I always forget about it. But it's a really cute shape that Paddington Bear used to wear with his bucket hat. Anyway, uh, the discount for that coat was, I think, 50% discount and the price was 650, I think, uh, euro. Some of the other brands where we found great deals in Sierra Valle were Bali, Salvador Ferragamo and Montclair. I got a really cute Montclair beanie with a pong pong, you know, this famous one out there with with a 50% discount I think or even more and uh, th that one is still my favorite for winter. Also the thing that I love about Sierra Valle is the fact that they have the only Zimmerman outlet in the whole of Europe there and I love Zimmerman, I love their linen clothes for summer and I got myself a dress there which had about a 50 or 60 percent discount i think so if you are a fan of zimmerman then you have to go to sierra valle and i think that was it that was everything that i wanted to talk about today regarding italian outlet overall i think all of them are great and you can have a really good time and find the great deals in all of the outlets but my favorite one is still Sierra Valle, but I recommend you going to all of them if you have time. But if you have to just choose one, I think that you should uh, first choose the brands that you want to see out there and then just enjoy your time in the outlets. I really hope that this video was useful for you. If it was, please push the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. It truly really helps the growth of my channel and it truly really helps to show this video to more people on YouTube. YouTube because I feel like uh, the topic of outlets it's not that popularized on YouTube and the more people see this video the more people push the likes the more other people will be able to find it and just find about all of these great deals that are out there and I think this information is quite useful for you to know if you are traveling around Italy or around Europe because all of these deals in the outlets that we have here are really really good and uh, overall the experience of outlets is amazing and you for sure are going to have a great time out there i thank you very much for watching my today's video and i will see you very soon next friday bye